I'm Brookji Hawa Brakata, Ya Hawasha, Brookji Hawa Brakata, Ya Hawasha, Ba Hashem Rakakwadash, the honors to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth and sincerity. Lesson will be entitled At Deacon Haka, explain the leadership of Yahawa Wa Yahawasha. Lord, will you are Edified. This video was inspired by a video Apostle Ar Arayamlab did on his YouTube platform, GMS Info Doc Channel 12, and this video is entitled, What? What? <laughs> I just start off by saying, Barakate Hawa, Bashem Shai, Bashem Rakakodash. Welcome to another live lesson. The name of this one is What? All cap seven question marks. So it's a question. <clears throat> I was just listening to Elder Pastor's video, and he mentioned that he heard, you know, Deacon Haka from the Sakari say that the reason why them guys in Boston fell out of the Boston camp is because of the leadership of Great Millstone. So I said, what? And then I, I, uh, I just want to go live and just want to say you had individuals that fell off from the Sakari group did they fall off because of the Sakari leadership huh and that's a good question and with that being said I have two more questions John chapter 6 and verse 30 they said therefore unto him what signs show you then that we may see and believe you? What do you work? What can you do? Our fathers did eat manna in the desert. As it is written, he gave them bread from heaven to eat. Then Yahweh said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Moses gave you not that bread from heaven, but my father gave you the true bread from heaven for the bread of the most high is he which came down from heaven and gave life or gives life unto the world then said they unto him lord evermore give us this bread and yahweh said unto them i am the bread of life he that come to me shall never hunger and he that believes on me shall never thirst. But I said unto you that you also have seen me and believe not. All that the Father gave me shall come to me, and him that come to me I will in no wise cast out. For I came down from heaven not to do my, my own will, but the will of him that sent me. And this is the Father's will which has sent me, that of all which he gave me, I should lose nothing, but should raise it up again at the last day. And this is the will of him that sent me, that everyone which sees the Son and believes on him may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day. The Jews then murmured at him because he said, I am the bread which came down from heaven. And they said, Is not this Yahweh the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How is it? Then he said, I came down from heaven. And this proves that Joseph was Yahweh biological father. Yahweh therefore answered and said unto them, Murmur not among yourselves. No man can come to me except the Father which has sent me draw him, and I will raise him up at the last day. It is written in the prophets, and they shall be all taught of the Most High. Every man, therefore, that has heard and has learned of the Father, comes unto me not that any man 
have seen the Father, save he which is of the Most High, he has seen the Father. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believe on me has everlasting life. I am their bread of life. Your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead. This is the bread which comes down from heaven that a man may eat thereof and not die. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world, the world of Israel only beginning with the elect. The Jews therefore strove among themselves saying, how can this man give us his flesh to eat? Then said Yahweh it's like it. Then Yahweh said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Whoso eat my flesh and drink my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He that eats my flesh and drinks my blood dwells in me and I in him. As the living Father has sent me, and I live by the Father, so he that eats me, even he shall live by me. This is that bread which came down from heaven, not as your fathers did eat manna and are dead. He that eats of this bread shall live forever. These things said he in the synagogue as he taught in Capernaum. Many therefore of his disciples, when they had heard this, said, this is a hard saying. Who can hear it? Meaning, how can anyone accept it? Accept this saying? Because they were not spiritual. They were not of the elect. Verse 61. When Yahweh knew in himself that his disciples murmured at it, he said unto them, Does this offend you? What and if you shall see the Son of Man ascend up where he was before? It is the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profit nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. But there are some of you that believe not. They didn't have faith. For Yahweh knew from the beginning who they were that believed not, and who should betray him. And he said, Therefore said I unto you that no man can come unto me except it were given unto him of my father. From that time, many of his disciples went back, went back where? Into the world, okay? And walked no more with him. So explain the leadership of Yahweh at Deacon Haka. Question number two. Then said Yahweh unto the twelve, Will you also go away? Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. All right? So that's question number two. Let's go to question number three. First Samuel 8 and 1, and it came to pass when Samuel was old that he made his sons judges over Israel. Now the name of his firstborn was Joel, and the name of his second Abiah. They were judges in Beersheba, and his sons walked not in his ways, but turned aside after Lucra. And took bribes and perverted judgment. Then all the elders of Israel gathered themselves together and came to Samuel 
unto Ramah and said unto him, Behold, you are old, and your sons walk not in your ways. Now make us a king to judge us like all the nations. But the thing displeased Samuel when they said, Give us a king to judge us. And Samuel prayed unto Yahweh. And Yahweh said unto Samuel, Listen unto the voice of the people and all that they say unto you. For they have not rejected you, but they have rejected me that I should not reign over them. So the people of Israel, right, rejected who? Yahweh. So explain the leadership of Yahweh. Question number three. Lord, will you edify Shalom? 